Hey guys, welcome to a quick building tutorial on how to make tiles for, or flooring tiles for like kitchens and stuff like that. Basically square tiles, and you can do this in a variety of ways. And this can come down to all kinds of things. I mean, planks are just like tiles too, they're kind of the same thing. And make sure to check out that tutorial in case you're wondering how to make that. And we're using F3X today, so Big Granny 0 here, we're going to make a tutorial and show you exactly how to make these. So. Uh, first we want to make our basic square and these increments are garbage for this right now. Well they aren't, but if I change them they're going to be a little bit easier on myself. So let's go ahead and make this all symmetrical. Which it is. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, it's this, it's this side. Okay. Shoot. Alright, we're just going to copy and paste that again. Alright. So first I recommend starting with a black underlayer, that way when you're doing like spacing and stuff it looks really nice. And I'm going to show you why exactly we use this black underlayer. We're actually going to go with a 3.9 square, so the spacing is symmetrical to the actual floor, if that makes sense. And you can change this to however you want, we're just going to go with pebble for today, it's going to look nice. That's actually a bit on the bright side so then we can change that to black we're gonna go ahead and make the checker style flooring and you can do this however you want and I'm gonna show you quick ways on how to change this as well let's actually expand this floor a little bit and now you're probably wondering well if I copy and paste this and move it over that's not gonna work what you can do is copy and paste it and just simply rotate it like that so you get it on the opposite side, and then you're done. <laughs> and then you copy and paste these two, and just go along like that. And pretty soon you'll have some nice floor, and we're already finished. Awesome. And go ahead and expand it like that. So as you can see, in between the spaces right here, this is why I always choose the black under layers. It looks it looks really really nice. So what you can do is go ahead and change this quickly and you can select individual tiles if you want to do that or change individual ones is you can do that or do this so that that's how you quickly change it change that to marble you can pretty much do it oh god fabric Blech. nope go with uh, concrete oh concrete I like that that actually looks really nice well I'll see you guys later I hope you enjoyed that tiling tutorial uh, you can use this for all kinds of things outside of flooring too, like you can use it for walls, like just anything in general really. Tiling is the one of the most easiest and detailed ways of building and it looks super nice. Just make sure you don't use too much because if you use too little pieces it's going to get kind of laggy if you use like thousands of them. Not only that, like people don't really pay attention to it too much, but this looks really nice like right here. I don't know what to use this for, but I just really like it for some reason. Well, I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment. And let me know what other tutorials you guys want. And make sure to check out the playlist on how or on more Roblox tutorials. And I got a couple tutorials that are outside of building, like how to make uh, paint that net stuff, like pictures and T-shirts on Roblox, and how to do all that. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed that. And thanks for watching. I appreciate it. See you guys later.